Well, the Taliban has decreed that all women in Afghanistan must cover their faces in public, claiming that it's necessary for their safety and dignity. And it says the ideal piece of clothing would be the burqa that covers a woman from head to toe. The group has warned that a close male relatives of a woman who violates that law could be sacked from government, jobs or even jailed. Well, the Taliban has also reversed other women's and girls' rights made in the 20 years between the Taliban's two reigns. Girls have been banned from receiving secondary education. The Ministry for Women's Affairs has been disbanded and, in many cases, women have not been allowed to work. Let's speak now to Diva Patang, who's a, a former Afghanistan national uh, television presenter and joins us now live from London. Welcome to the programme. Uh, Diva, give us your reaction to this news, the Taliban ordering all Afghan women to cover their faces in public. Thank you for having me. I think uh, America and NATO needs to be ashamed of their failed strategy in Afghanistan. The, the strategy that they had for Afghanistan has failed, and we can see that there is no peace in Afghanistan at the moment, especially for women. And the decisions as such are made, and uh, one of the main reasons is NATO and America, and as well as the Republic government of Afghanistan, which is not in power anymore. They failed to bring peace. They, couldn't, uh, they didn't uh, manage to uh, have a better a strategy for Afghanistan and also to be able to uh, um, save the woman from such situations. There, there is absolutely chaos at the moment. So we can see that uh, um, today that they're banning uh, women from uh, going out of their house. They have to uh, cover their faces, which is not Islamic at all. In Islam, it does not say to women that you must cover your faces. Um, uh, or, uh, it doesn't uh, uh, also is not, um, uh, it's not something that uh, uh, says in the Quran, when we go for Hajj or Umrah, uh, we don't have to to cover our face. So such decisions or such bans are really affecting the women of Afghanistan. And the reason is, is the failed strategy of America and NATO. And, okay, you, you're blaming, uh, you're saying it's the failed strategy of, of America and NATO, but uh, is that the only reason that the, that the Taliban have done this? Why have they Absolutely. done this? Absolutely not. I'm not blaming entirely everything on America or NATO, but uh, there were the people who were negotiating with the Taliban. Uh, there were the people who were behind uh, them and uh, were telling the Afghan woman that they will be standing with the Afghan woman. They will try to protect the woman's rights. Where are those people who were, who were uh, trying to lobby for Afghan women? Where are they now? Why are they not coming out to talk to the Taliban to say that what they're doing is wrong? Banning girls from the school, uh, banning now women to even go out out of the house to be able to show their faces. So uh, such bans uh, are ridiculous. And uh, I'm not saying that it's only the international communities in the fault, but no. the strategy that they had for Afghanistan is failing. And Diva, as you watch, you know, international media, the news, so much is dominated by uh, the war in Ukraine. Do you feel that Afghanistan, women in Afghanistan, have been forgotten right now by the international community, by the international media, we could say. Absolutely, absolutely. Exactly the same thing has happened when uh, America invaded Afghanistan and then the war in Iraq has happened. Afghan woman was, uh, uh, Afghanistan war was forgotten. And exactly the same scenario is repeated now that uh, there is, uh, what has happening in Afghanistan, the media, the international community has completely forgotten about uh, the situation in the country or the suffering that Afghan people are having at the moment. So Ukraine has taken over and uh, to be honest, we hardly even see the international community even talking about Afghanistan only if there is something big is happening like like what's happened today the rule that they have uh, uh, implemented on Afghan women that then we would hear something about Afghanistan I think uh, uh, international community needs to start uh, thinking about the promises that they have made for the for the, to the Afghan woman and uh, also try to to speak to the Taliban for what they're doing is wrong and especially that we are now in the 21st century we can't force women to uh, uh, to uh, cover their faces we can't force them and tell them what they need to do we can't force them and make them sit at home and not study. So right now, the Afghan women are the only people who are suffering in the country. And that is because of uh, the failed strategy and also that they were not able to bring peace into the country. There were negotiations happening mm. in the country 
with the Taliban, excluding the Republic government, and uh, America was talking to the Taliban, but w where is all these promises? The Doha agreement that they had, they, they, there was an agreement with the Taliban that they will not be doing such things, but we can see that they failed. And we can see that uh, uh, right now, uh, a lot of Afghans are suffering, not just because of this rule that has been implemented. Yeah. We can see that even financially, Afghans are, are suffering. The asset is, uh, is blocked. Um, uh, there is absolutely no money in the country. So there is a lot of difficulties okay. and, the, and, and I think it needs to be tackled. Diva, thank you so much for speaking to us today on this important subject for women in Afghanistan. Diva Patang, former Afghan uh, national TV presenter, appreciate your time and your thoughts. Thank you for having me.